What up, you two? Yo, it's the future of Motown music. Cut Man, that down. Scholar. Just right a tad. Now, homie, this your boy Lee. Down Low yeah. back again, man. With another mixtape review for the... For the 31st of August, man. And it's 2.22 in the morning. Y'all probably all sleep, but this is my normal office hours, you feel me? And what you hearing in the background, that's uh, My Tool by Young Jeezy, Bun B, and The Bud Man. Off that Bun B, I'm the Shit, number 169. And, you know, I don't like The Bud Man just like anybody else. But this song is hot, man. And I fucks with it. Like, I had to go ahead and download this for this song. Uh, there's another song up on here called, uh, I think it's the church song. It's either the church song and the don't go song. One of those really, really good songs, man. And this Bun B, this Bun B, man, is pretty damn hot. Like, this is a must listen to. Uh, quite possibly a must download. And he, he's saying a lot in the song that he got five mics out the source. I need to go ahead and pick up the source. It's been so fucking long since I checked out the source because... I don't know. It doesn't much interest me anymore. But I need to go ahead and check that shit on out. My nigga Bun B. Legend in the game getting five stars. I mean five mics. But up on here, man. There's a lot of good features, man. Got Young Jeezy, like I said. Got French Montana. Got Talib Kweli. And that song, uh, I'm So Tall, it's really strange. Like, it's one of those I couldn't fuck with. But dude up on there, his name is Chester French. I'm going to have to look up. I'm going to have to look him up, man, because he can spit a little. He, he was spitting on that I'm So Tall, I'm so tall beat, and it, it made me... Make me wanna wonder who the hell is this guy. So I, I may check him out in the future. Uh, there's a couple guys up on here like the Splodge Gang and Nicodemus Doe, who I guess they're down with the DJ that just threw on some tracks and I really ain't fuck with them. But definitely, you definitely should download that mixtape. Uh, check it out and see how you feel about it, man. That shit is pretty hot. But to continue on the hot streak, man, uh, hell, matter of fact, I'll bump some of it right now. Hold up. Uh, this guy named Rossi, he, uh, came out with a mixtape called The Golden Child, based, basically off that, uh, that movie where Eddie Murphy got little skits up in there, and it was pretty funny. Uh, are you gonna play for me, or are you gonna bullshit me? Uh, looks like it's going to bullshit me. Oh yes, it's been bullshit me. Wait a minute. Yeah. Alright. Now, Rossi, I believe is from Arizona. Somewhere. Phoenix maybe. I'm, I'm not all the way sure on it. But I think he's from Arizona. He West Coast. He got some West Coast bounce with him. But he's on some lyrical shit. And like any no normal lyricist, man, you gotta work on your songs. Once you get your songs together, there's no stopping you to being like a complete artist. Like having the lyrics is a really great starting point to be. But. Now, see, the thing is. This is the only track that I really downloaded because the rest of the songs are cool, but not really on level with this one. But you do say some crazy shit, man, that I fuck with, like, what do you say, uh, I had to make it my Facebook status, man, it was like, uh, man, I'm so fucking fly, I'm, no, I'm fly till I die, like I'm a kamikaze pilot, nigga, and when he said that shit, it just hit me, I'm like, ooh, ooh, shit, that was nasty. <laughs> but that, 
man. That's my nigga Rossi, man. I'm a I'ma keep following them, man. You should definitely listen to them and see if you want to download it. I mean, there's only one track that I downloaded, but I'm sure some of the music is going to approach, going to be good for a lot of people, man. So check them out. And on to the uh, disappointment of the week because I, I always try and add something like this. And some fans of T.I. dropped the T.I. Inception 2 mixtape, which is basically all old shit. And I'm tired of y'all doing this bullshit, man. If you ain't got nothing new to bring to the table, don't drop a fucking mixtape, man. Like, they put the Maybach Music 3 on there. Like, I had that shit before the Teflon Don came out, and it's been a while since Teflon Don came out. Like, let that shit go, man. If you ain't got nothing new to bring to the table, just chill the fuck out, man. But, on the other end, T.I., that's my nigga. Go buy the album when it comes out. Like, I know people don't buy albums like that no more, but that's an album I'm finna buy. I only buy a few albums. I buy every AZ album that comes out. Like, the last AZ album that I got that came out was Gold, Oil, and Diamonds. I'm sure you haven't heard of it, but you need to check that shit out. And then I copped the last T.I. album. And then I copped the Freddie Gibbs, which you need to cap- cop that. It's an EP. Called, uh, I think it's Oil Money or something. I have to, I don't know. But anyway, don't download that T.I. I would listen to it if you haven't been up on the latest T.I. shit that been, that been came out a little minute ago. But besides that, I wouldn't even waste my time with it, man. Uh, but anyway, I wanted to add a little segment to this, man. I seen a movie the other day called uh, Walmart, the high cost of low price. It's off of Netflix, man. It's a documentary. You can't miss it. It's a really, really good documentary, man, because it basically shows you why... Walmart is the best corporate, I mean, not the best, is the biggest corporation in the motherfucking world. How it's able to get these low prices off of just some bullshit. Like, there's people right now in China, well, in China, it's, it's probably like a nice time and shit. But if it was 2.30 in the morning in China, they would be walking right now sewing together some bullshit to sell at Walmart in which it costs Walmart all but probably 30 cents to make the shit that they sell for like $15. And then they don't pay the employees shit. They make sure there's no security. And that, that, that brings me to some other shit. Like, I remember back in the day, I used to be slanging CDs and shit, and I tried to slang CDs at Walmart. Motherfuckers called the police on me, and they was there like this. And I had, I, man, me and my dog, Chaz O the Pimp, man, we was out because a cool-ass walker, black dude, came up and was like, yo, they calling the police on you, y'all need to bounce. I'm like, cool, nigga, let's go. Police pulled up as soon as we bounced. <laughs> but... In this, they show that in the parking lot, man, people was getting robbed, beat up, kidnapped, killed, because they didn't have any outer surveillance. So fuck these motherfuckers, Walmart, man. Fuck them all. For real. Fuck all the big corporations in America. But, yet again, this was my mixtape review. Keep hollering at your boy, I'ma keep hitting you off with the hot shit. One.